Cambodia, we just have a lot of children who grew up without education. During Popo regime, when they know that somebody is a doctor, a teacher, they will kill all of them. And they just only keep the person who have no education because it's easier to monitor them, to supervise them. After the Khmer Rouge, they're so hungry. What they can do first is to make food for their family. Most people, they do not know how to read and write. They also do not allow their children to go to school. Even they are young, they can go to collect trash and sell it. They can make money every day and can help the family. Hope for the silent voice. We have a love and we have a heart to help. We do not want that kind of cycle just happening again and again. It means like the parent as a truck collector or a beggar and their children become a beggar. We want to break that cycle. ហើយគាត់បានយកខ្ញុំទៅពេទ្យគេមុនដំបងគេគេថត់អានឹងមើលថត់ហើយគេថាល្បេងកងកដៅគេឲ្យលេខ្នាំ <coughs> We want to complete their dream for the children. We also put them to the private school with a very good uniform, a good school. They will change their life and they will, uh, the children will change the family life. And then the family will change the whole community. I am Srei Kao. At the village, I don't think that I can finish my high school. Yes, because the school is very far and my family is also very poor. I have to come to Phnom Penh. We also don't know where to go as well. Some family, they are addicted to drug, alcoholic, domestic violence, gambling. We have Hope House. That is a safe place for the children and we provide a very good uh, accommodation with uh, good food for them, three meals a day. And we have a house mother to look after them 24 hours a day. We also have staff to help them with their homework every day. That's why we believe that they will have a bright future. We go to Hope House. They always taking care of us, giving me advice, cheer me up and give me a chance to set up my goal. One day we got a call from the Department of Social Affairs. Uh, they said that we have a twin, a sister, they have no place to go. They can hear, but they cannot speak. <laughs> and then we look our organization name, we call it Hope for the Silent Voice. And they are, they cannot speak. It means like they have silent voice. And it means like uh, God just wants us to work with this kind of people. And our goal is we will accept new disability people like that to come to live in our organization. I can't 
can see that I, I can get a better future. And my goal in five years, I want to be a front office manager. One of the commandments from Jesus Christ is to love others like yourself. When you help other people, you will feel different. When we have the children and we see their smile, so in our heart, with full of peace. To me, that is the meaning of my life.